Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher, and based our homes, I am proud to say I flagged the flag in front of my house. You flew the flag in front of your house. Well, no, you it doesn't fly really fly. Flag. It just kind of flaps. <laughs> okay. Fleeta, Fleeta Jackson, public information specialist for Environmental Stormwater Division, and I am doing this because it's only in Norfolk, right? No, you're doing it now because it's region wide. All 17 municipalities are now partaking in the Based Our Homes program. But that program was started right here in Norfolk. It did start right here in Norfolk, and so we're excited about it. For Norfolk, it's about um, 15 months old, so that's really exciting that uh, we're just over a year, and we have um, almost 1,000 homes. I need 100 more to get 1,000, so I'm hoping this pushes me over the edge. Well, that's cool because as people walk their dogs by the front of my house, they say, hey, where'd that flag come from? And I get to tell them. You get to tell them, and, and now we have the new regional flag because it's all being done through the Hampton Roads Planning District. And you can see based our homes flags from um, James City County all the way down in Suffolk, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake. They're all cleaning up after their dogs. They are. They were probably doing That's that cool. anyway, Bob. But oh. Oh. they're definitely, if you're a based our home, you definitely do that. Cool. Okay. Let's start from the scratch. Okay. Because you got me signed on. It was early. Couple, yeah, early on the show. And it was really easy. And it's kind of been easy sticking to it. Well, it, the dog part thing has been tough because during the winter, it's hard. It is hard. Sometimes it's hard, and it's hard to always carry little uh, pet waste bags with you. But base arms, we try to make it easy. So you call me anytime. I'll be glad to give you more bags. They clip on your dog's leash. It really does make it pretty easy, except in your backyard. Well, I got my real lesson when the gal who was she came over and did a soil test because I have yes. not used fertilizer in years. Right. It's really been cool, and yet my yard. It looks green most of the time. But when she went over and did the soil sample, I made the mistake of saying when she went in the backyard, you got to watch where you walk. <laughs> I thought she was going to take my flag. Well, it, it, it could be a flag removal offense. Okay, I'm going to really. ask you this again because I ask it every time. Why? Because I don't see water from my house. Why am I based our home? Well, everybody in Norfolk drains ultimately to the Chesapeake Bay and actually through the whole region, even up in James City County, are draining to the Chesapeake Bay. There are a few exceptions. Suffolk and Chesapeake do drain a part of the city to North Carolina watersheds. But for the most part, everybody in the Hampton Roads area is draining to the Chesapeake Bay. And that is our largest watershed, 64,000 square miles. Wow. Uh, starts in New York State and comes all the way down to Norfolk, and we all play a part in keeping the water clean. And it, it, so, okay, I, I focus on the dog, <laughs> but it's more than just the dog on what we can do to help keep it clean. What kinds of things did I sign off on on that list? Well, it's all about being a steward at your home. It's not about saving the world. It's not about saving mm -hmm. the city you live in or even your neighborhood. It's only making a difference right where you live, and it's a home stewardship program. Uh, we ask you to do eight steps. Uh, picking up after your pet is one of them. Um, turning off lights is another one. It's all about energy conservation, just conservation in, in, in general, and just being environmentally friendly, doing things that are good for your family, your home, and ultimately the environment where you live. Uh, it could be using a reusable shopping bag, taking oh, soil test. That's almost as hard as cleaning up after the dog. Come on, Flea, <laughs> let's talk. They're in the trunk of the car. They are. But I never go in my trunk before I go into the grocery store. Well, that's why you have to go to the cart corrals and get a cart outside because they always remind you. If you notice that, my grocery store reminds me. Yeah, well, usually I get reminded corral. when I get home when my wife sees me with all the plastic <laughs> bags. Well, I have a cat, so I actually reuse my plastic bags, but for a whole different point. Well, purpose. I was going to say, not to bring it back around, but it seems like every time you're on the sofa, that's how I clean up my backyard. Well, it, that's true. And I always put one of those in my, in my pocket when I walk the dog. When you walk the, they're easy, and it's a good use for plastic bags, because we certainly do not want them in our waterways, clogging up our stormwater system, or just being unsightly in your neighborhood. Uh, trash and litter just is not very Okay, nice well, this is really at. important. When you get those plastic bags, and I can't picture you getting them very often, <laughs> where do you put them? Oh, I have this How nice little them? sleeve that somebody made for me. It was a great little tube, and I just stuff them down in there, and I pull them out the other end. Stuff them in the top and pull them out the other end. It's a great little handy, uh, great craft item for the holiday season, actually, yeah, for gift giving. I never thought I'd have this conversation on the show, but um, the, those uh, uh, tissue boxes, the square ones, right? the newspaper bag. Oh, 
Oh, that's a great idea. And then you just pull them out. I've used newspaper bags before also. Did they I just teach handy. you something? You did. Cool. I did not know you could do I that. I never thought that would happen. That's right. So how did it how, how did you make it go regional? Uh, it was a great idea. Uh, I am part of an education subcommittee with the planning district for the stormwater group. We were talking about it. Actually, Hampton and Newport News heard about Baystar Homes first, and they led the charge to get the region to adopt it and to figure out how to make it work for all uh, 17 diverse municipalities that make up this area. And we, we are diverse. We know how diverse and how we cooperative we can or cannot be. We are very cooperative when it comes to stormwater. I'm just because it makes sense, right? It does. It makes sense. We can do so much more, and we have a louder voice as a whole region versus Little Norfolk, or Virginia Beach, or Newport News, or Suffolk, or Isle of Wight County, Pocosin. All of those, we're we're a lot uh, we're stronger force to deal with mm -hmm. if we're all speaking in the on the same page. But I know over the years, being the host, I mean, it, it seems like I've been a target that people say, okay, let's, <laughs> let's convince Bob. Is there, are you still getting pushback or are people starting to say, you know what, this is making sense? I think people see that it makes sense. For the most part, the eight steps are totally free and it, they're things you're doing anyway. You will recycle when you can. You will mm -hmm. pick up your pet waste. You turn off lights. Uh, we want you to not use plastic. Uh, plastic bottles for water when you use a refillable water bottle mm -hmm. mainly because it saves you so much money water is a great bargain here in Norfolk and we certainly have really good water so fill up a reusable bottle and those are the kind of steps you're talking about doing raising your lawnmower blade planting a tree well trees cost money but it's in Norfolk right now I have a grant through the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation for trees that we'll be giving away soon for free rain barrels. I have 200 of them to give away. Do you really? I really do. And nutrient management plans and soil tests for your yard. So anything in that the That was steps, the woman that came by that and was. she did those plugs. She did the plugs. And that gives us the information to do a nutrient management plan because what you put on your lawn does really make a difference. Can I, is it okay to say that she saved me a whole bunch of money because I've not bought fertilizer since I've lived in my house? Yes, and that's the whole idea. It's not oh. to say that fertilizer is the worst thing in the world, but just to give your lawn what it needs and to know what it needs and to understand the grass you're growing and the soil and to make sure you're doing what your yard needs versus what we all think our yard needs. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not an expert, so having that kind of information and plan is, is great, but so we're trying in Norfolk and region-wide to offer special incentives to uh, based our homes. And uh, right now, each municipality is a little different. We're offering different things. You all get the flag. Okay. You get a starter kit, an information kit. But some of the extra add-ons, such as nutrient management plans, soil tests, or rain barrels, they're, they're unique to Norfolk right now. But we're hoping that as the region grows and based our homes grows, that we'll be able to, uh, to expand our program opportunities. Cool. Now I know you're not a priest, but I don't know, there's something about you being on the sofa <laughs> that makes me feel like I need to confess my soul. That one of the tough ones that I've got is, and I guess it's because I, I, I'm going to tell you because you had the sewer next to you one day. <laughs> um, when I mow the yard and I got those grass clippings. Right. They don't were, belong down the storm drain. I'll tell you, not only is it bad for water quality, it clogs up those storm drains and if last weekend was any indication we want the water to leave and we want it to have a clear path to get out of the city and those storm drains are the way so we want to make it easy for them and leaves and grass clippings and oh my gosh we pull everything out of storm drains right. mattresses you what know, yes there really been mattresses there have been tires so so after I get done with mowing the yard and I've still got the, the grass clippings and the pine needles, I mulch stuff. In, right, you know, okay. Right? That's, Mulching's that's good. I, that's right. good. So what should I do with that stuff? Throw it in my trash can or? You can put it in a clear plastic bag, put it out on your trash day, and waste management will pick it up for you. Man, I can't trick you up at all, can no, I? No, you can't. There's oh, an answer we make it easy. I'm telling you. You really I, do. It's really hard to, we're, we're trying to make it easy for everybody to do the right thing. So if we've, do you think we've convinced anybody to become a base our home with this conversation? I hope so. Yeah, I, if they are, how do they, how do they get a hold of you? Well, they get a hold of me through uh, my email address or my phone number, which is 823-4007. I'm happy to walk anybody through stuff. You can also find us on the city website. Everything's on there. 
You can sign up for interest in a rain barrel or a tree. You can find out how to be a Bay Star home. You can get a soil test there, which is gonna start the cycle to be asked if you want a nutrient management plan for your yard. So Norfolk.gov is a great place to start looking backslash BSH for Bay Star Homes, and that'll get you any and everything you, you need to get started, but my phone number will get you a live person. And most people know if you've got the flag, in, it's the only garden flag I got. Right. Looks good, it boosts your status, but also they'll clean up after the dog on your yard. <laughs> that's right, that's right. It's all about doing the little things. Little steps do add up, and that's what Bay Star Homes is all about. Thanks for coming on and keeping me honest. All right. Thanks. Well, I got some other things I'll confess to you after the show. All right. Sounds okay. good. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks for joining us.